progressing with my diagrama, I've glued this top piece onto the bottom piece. And day after I glued the top piece onto the bottom piece, a stupid idea came into my head. And I cut open this here so I can once again rewire this. I'm changing out from using the re-switch to using a different me method to both power and now turn on my system here. So I'll put this away because I'm going to have to redo this and we'll discuss uh, what's new for what I have planned. Now recently I picked up this little starter kit, it's a Arduino, an Italian um, <coughs> micro processing board. So this is the base board, uh, it's a Uno, Arduino. This is basically a, without this piece here, this is an IO shield. Now this just snaps onto here and it pretty much all it does is gives you a bunch of ports for um, uh, input output uh, operations. You could uh, power up some motors. Um, it's kind of cool for this to for this whole setup. Now I've already programmed this. There's some programming involved, so I programmed this little sucker to work with this um, <coughs> chip. This is a Bluetooth chip. So. What I have decided to do in lieu of using the read switch, I'm going to use Bluetooth to turn on my uh, uh, LEDs on my board. And what's nice about this is I could program this to do uh, a host of other things to the LEDs. But um, first, I'm going to go into rewire the base. Now that requires, for my idea, uh, I had it originally wired in parallel. That wouldn't work with the, how it's configured. Now I have it wired in series with uh, one set in parallel. And now I'm gonna disassemble all that and have four individual LEDs running to this. So I'm gonna have four, four um, pins, one, two, three, four, you know, uh, there are number of pins here, so row three is one set of pins, and that's basically using a connector. This is going to be to one LED set, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to have four individual LEDs running to this. <clears throat> now, testing using a multimeter to test the power output here. I know this is five volts out. Um, according to the documentation, it's five volts out. It's about 4.94, but you know, uh, that's minor uh, differences. So what I have, since I'm running each two single LEDs, uh, some of the white LEDs are are uh, connected in parallel, but I'm gonna fo I'm gonna treat them as one LED. So since this is five volts and the white LEDs are 3.4 roughly, three to 3.4, the red LEDs. Uh, 1.9 to 2 I'm gonna need a resistor so here on my little test breadboard I have um, red LEDs here connected to um, uh, a resistor uh, this is a 150 ohm this is a 100 ohm and this is 75 ohm and I'm just gonna plug the, these three in uh, to this and do some tests on brightness to make sure I don't um, overpower the LEDs. Okay, so now that I have this set up, uh, I've programmed my little Arduino to um, pull uh, the Wi-Fi, uh, pull the Bluetooth, and from my phone I can control the on-off. And this is a very very basic uh, uh, control that I'm using. Uh, I'm just turning them all on, turning them all off. So. Uh, the different um, resistors here. So there should be three different brightnesses. And it might be negligible because of the small amount of you know, resistance that this is. But I'm going to just hit the one on here and they all turn on. So I can definitely tell that this is pretty bright. 
Ah, uh, they're all pretty. They're all pretty bright. Great. Now I can't tell the difference. Um, easiest way for me to check that difference is to use a more bigger uh, resistor. So here I'm gonna pop in a 600 uh, ohm resistor. So let me turn this off. Let me turn this um, the lights off. I'm just gonna pop this guy out here and pop in a bigger resistor. Now the way the breadboard works is each row is connected. The center, each row is connected. So along the rows, you get uh, it'll be one connection here and one connection here. And these are connected um, lengthwise. So now that I have this bigger uh, resistor in here, I'm going to turn them on, and I should see a significant difference. And you see that it's a lot um, dimmer. Now the problem with you know being a lot dimmer is you're wasting energy. I used an online cal calculator to calculate the voltage, my board voltage, from here to the voltage for each LED to figure out how much uh, resistance I should use. Uh, normally, I won't even use resistors, but um, since this is pushing out five volts, I really should uh, put some resistors in here so that it's not, you know, over. It's gonna, not going to kill the LED. Now here I've swapped out these LEDs for white LEDs to do the same test of uh, resistance. So wow, that is really, really bright. That's pretty dim. So this is the 75. Um, that's a little too bright and um, a little too dim. So I'm going to go, I'm probably going to stick with the uh, 100, which is that one right there. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to swap out this with that the 150 uh, watt resistor. Pop that in there. Pop that in here. The little breadboard is a very good tool to use to test um, the wiring scheme as opposed to wiring everything up and turning it on and zap which has happened to me not too often but it has happened to me so I'll turn these on now and you see that that's pretty bright that's um, still the 100 is pretty bright so now I'm gonna go ahead and hit back to the base and redo the wiring scheme Okay, I've connected one, two, three. It's a lot cleaner now. It's not so messy with the, you know, series and parallel and whatnot. And I have one last bit to connect. This is my negative side. This is my positive side. This is my negative side. This is my positive side. So, grab my trusty wire wrap tool. Let's wire wrap this guy. Use this as a temporary holder, and now to quickly apply some solder. To, to hold this joint. So now that I have all these connected, um, I have them labeled the uh, UL for under lighting, TL for tower lighting, uh, let's see here, ZO for the Zogok, and ZU for the Zulu that's in here. So let's connect these up. TL will be number one.
Now connect up my power source. This guy here. And it's on and it's transmitting for a signal. So this will all hopefully fit in here somehow. My battery pack will somehow fit in there as well. Let's try not to squash anything. Try to flip this over carefully. Now I'm going to go ahead and plug in my base pieces. Plug in the Zulu. I'm just going to leave him kind of laying down. So, so, where did his little backpack piece go? Oh, there it goes. So, hopefully. The camera will capture his mono eye lighting up. I'm gonna attach my Zogok. And have him leaning up so that he is also capturing that camera view. Now I'm connecting my tower lights. Now I'm going to turn off this main light here so you can better see this. So um, connect to the Bluetooth device. Uh, connected. Or connecting. So I'm connected. So I could go ahead and test some of these lights. Let's test the tower light. It turns on. It turns off. It turns on. It turns off. I'll test the under base lighting that turns on turns off kind of cool I can turn them off all at off at once or I could turn them on individually or turn them all at once so let's turn on this uh, let's see here is it the Z zoom or So you can see that he's uh, flashing. Now what I have set up for this, turn on the Zogok as well. So you can see that it's flashing. What it's doing is, um, let's see if it'll stop. Well, actually, let's stop all. Let's see if I can get them to talk to each other. Okay, so I have the Zogok Morse code to the Zizulu Morse code. So it's almost like they're talking back and forth to each other. Um, I'm gonna, I have a short Morse string right now that I program, programmed into this um, device. So right now they're kind of talking to each other. And it's just going to cycle through. I'm still fiddling with the uh, programming aspect of it, but um, there's a lot of things I could do with this. And I think this is kind of cool to have them morse to each other. The idea is um, from, uh, I think it was um, from Origins where, where Charles um, Zaku, you know, was doing morse with his uh, mono eye. And I think that's kind of a cool trick to do. So, this is my new um, switch scheme. So, I could control this remotely using my phone. And 
turn everything off or turn everything on or turn them on individually which is kind of neat And that should be last time I changed the wiring diagram. I need to get it all along and progress with this kit.